by setting x plus 1 equal to 0 and solving for x, and x plus 2 equal to 0 and solving for x. This one I'll subtract 1 from both sides, and I'll get x equals negative 1. Here I'll subtract 2 from both sides and get x equals negative 2. I want to check both solutions, so let's check first negative 1. So everywhere there's an x here, I'm going to put negative 1. So I'm going to have negative 1 plus square root of 4 times negative 1 plus 8. Does that equal 3 times negative 1 plus 4? We're kind of cramming that in there, but all right, so we have negative 1 plus 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So negative 4 plus 8, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 4. Uh, negative 1 plus, this adds to 4, equals 1. So we have negative 1 plus square root of 4 is 2. Does that equal 1? Yes, it does. So 1 does check out. That's one of our potential solutions. We'll also now check negative 2. So we have negative 2 plus the square root of 4 times negative 2 plus 8. Does that equal 3 times negative 2 plus 4? Well, we have negative 2 plus, uh, this is going to be negative 8 plus 8. Does that equal negative 6 plus 4? Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So we have square root of 0, which is 0. Uh, does that equal negative 2 over here? Yes, it does. So this one also checks out. We have the two solutions, x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 2.